Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bumisati. Today we'll see one of the snowflake use cases. Okay, so what we discuss, we'll discuss. Okay, okay I'm having one ta one database. In this database, I'm having total of 50 tables are there. Out of these 50 tables, I want to figure out what are the base tables and what are the clone tables. One more time. So assume like I'm having one database. In this database, there are 50 tables are there. Out of 50 tables, I want to figure out which are base tables and which are clone tables. Okay, so okay, so this is okay by using query, by using SQL query, we want to figure out so which is the which are the base tables and which are the clone tables and total how many number of tables are there. Suppose like 50 tables are there, out of 50 tables, 30 tables are base tables and 20 tables are cloned tables. Okay, so so by using SQL query, we want to achieve this. Case. Okay, so before going to first understand what is cloning. So it's one of the snowflake feature used to create a copy or take the snapshot of a database schema tables. In the sense like what if you want to take any backup or snapshot or replication or any backup purpose, you should go for cloning cons. It's also called as zero copy cloning. Okay. Now see what is the requirement. Suppose like I'm having one employee table. Okay, this is the main table. I want to clone. How can I clone? We'll see this thing. Okay, so this is my main table. I want to create a backup. How can I create backup in Snowflake? We're having one constantly cloning. Okay, so we'll see the syntax. So syntax is that what again? Okay. So create table, ta new table, and this we should use a keyword clone and we can able to use this from old table, we are trying to clone a new table. Okay, so see this thing in similar fashion, what we're trying to do. So this is my old table, I'm trying to clone into these things. Okay, by using clone, it's also called as zero copy cloning. There won't be any additional storage. Okay, what the point So main purpose of cloning is that what, if you want to take any backup of a table, or schema, or entire database, we can able to use by using clone. Okay, hope this is clear. So now we'll see this one. Now, now we log into SnowSite UA. And we can able to use, we can able to derive the query. Okay, hope this is clear. Okay. okay, now see this, we are in what? We are in one second. So we are in which database, okay? So now we are in which database? We are in, okay, how can I find database? We'll go for select the current database. Okay, these are the basic you should have here, okay, database. So it will give, so what is my database name? So Pravin DevDB in a similar fashion, how to find the schema from a current schema, okay, the schema. Okay, so see the same thing. So current database and current schema. Now, how can you two things? We should go for five symbol. Okay, so five symbol. Okay. okay, so we can able to get like this. Okay, so see database name, schema name. I see something, but it's a fully qualified name. Okay, now in this database, I want to see a list of tables. Okay, search for show tables. So see, we can able to get a list of tables available. Okay. Now what happen? I'll take any one table. Okay, suppose I'm taking this test table. Okay, so test table. So select a style from test. Okay, so this is one table. Okay, assume it. So there are no records are there. Suppose if you want to populate, I can able to populate. Insert into test one values one something like this. So only one record. So record has been there. Okay, so one record. The second record. And third record. Okay, just want to like so. Okay, so see the three records are there. Now this is my main table. Okay, I want to clone. How can I clone this table? We'll go for what? We'll go for clone for syntax is about. So create table. So table name. Okay, we should use the clone and the world table. Okay, so see this. Okay. Now what happened is the syntax. Okay, before going to first we should understand the basic. So what happened? Okay, create table, table name. So so take the same thing. Now what's our old table name? Test one is the world table name. And test. 1, 2, 3, underscore, clone, something I'm putting like this. Okay, so, so, clone. okay, so these are two tables. Okay, so this is the main table. If you see this, what happened, you get the same data. Okay. Copy the same thing. We have how many cards are we having? Two records are in a similar fashion. So, see the cloned object. Okay, we'll also same two records. So, one second. Okay, so see, we can able to get the same two records. Okay. Suppose if you want to create one more time, okay, we'll create one more table so that okay, get confused. So one, two, three, four. So one table, you can able to create my n number of cloned objects. You see two tables. Okay. Now what happened? Now we'll go for. So what I said, okay, we need to check one table and use the select star from information schema. Okay, dot. So table storage metrics. Okay. So by this we can able to figure out, okay. So which table, which table is a clone table and which table is a non-base table. Okay, now how can you figure out? We should go, it will give all the things. We should put what, where? So table catalog equals to, 
So what's the database name? We are getting okay. What's the database name? Prabin Dev. See, Prabin Dev DB is that database. Name. So Prabin underscore Dev underscore DB. So we're getting okay. So how many cards are there? If see here, what happened? One second, what happened? If execute now, what happened? So see, if I put count of star, it will give how many cards? So 50 records, okay, see 50 records, okay. Our our target is at what, okay, we want to figure out, okay, which records are cloned objects, which records are non-cloned objects, okay, so go to point us, which is our base tables and which are cloned, cloned tables, okay. So for this purpose, we should identify, so go back here, I'll explain the same thing, copy the same thing, so, so take this, stamp. I tell you all the records. Now, just now we have clear, okay, we have, we have taken one cloned object, okay, see, and table name. So table name, so in bracket open, bracket close. So what the table name we have put, okay, test one and test one, two, three, four. Okay, this is the main table and it's a clone table, okay, so see. So test, so test one and test two one. So see this thing. Okay, okay, if you see what happened, okay. So we're having two tables, one is, Test one table, test one, two, three, four table. Okay. So see how can you know whether it's a main table or clone table? So main table, see this data we can able to get. Main table in the sense like what? Okay, see main table ID and clone group ID both are same. What the point? See, so see three two double seven zero one seven. Three two double seven zero equals to three two double seven zero. Okay, so both IDs are same in the sense like it's a main table. So clone table in the sense like what if say this thing. So clone tables ID and clone group ID will be different. Okay, so go go to the point of C. So see when you go for me, like see three six three six eight double six. But it's clone. See what happened? Okay, it's cloned from test one three two double seven. Okay, go to the point of so clear us also. So how can you say it's a main table when ID and clone group ID both are same? It's a main table. So when both are different, say clone table. Now from which table are trying to clone? See so three two double seven. It's cloned from this table. Okay, so it's cloned from test one table. So go to the point a little bit at least. Yes or no? Suppose we're having one more table. Okay, just now get one more table. What's the table? Okay, see, okay. So this test one is the main table because three to double seven zero and test two one two three, test one two three four is cloned from test one table because IDs are different and it's populated from three to double seven zero. Okay. So our target is that what I want to figure out total number of tables from these tables. Okay, which are clone tables and which are base tables. So base tables in a sense like what both IDs and clone will be same. So okay, clone table objects in a sense like what this will be both are different. Okay. So one more time we can able to go to take the same. Okay, like this unit transition. Okay. So first understand what is cloning. So go like this, we can able to figure out. So scroll down. Now what happened? Okay, now remove this. Okay. So we don't want this value. Now what happened? And ID equal to clone group ID. When both are same, it's a what? It's a base table okay okay see this both are same okay so the count will be count of star will be it will be 30 records okay so 30 records in a similar fashion we'll go for the same thing these are may base tables in a similar fashion so if i put not equals to not equal to in the sense like what these are these are what cloned objects or cloned tables okay 20 okay if i remove this thing what i will get 50 okay so from this 50 tables, 30 tables are base tables, 20 tables are, okay, uh, cloned objects, okay. Now what happened, I want to get separate, separate, like 50, 30, and 20, okay. How can you do, if you want to do the conditions, you should go for what concept, you should go for case statement, okay, just case statement, okay. So probably the same thing, okay, so, okay. Separate, separately we are getting, but what happened, we want to get, okay. So if you see this image, what they're expecting, so see they want what, okay. So they want, okay, so separate, separately they want. So like total tables, how many? So base tables, how many? Like this we can have, okay. So go back here. So like this, okay. Now if you want to, you should go for condition state. Condition state can be handled by using what? By using case state. And I get the same thing, okay. Now it will give all the records, so star. But we want, okay, so, so you want total, okay. So how to get total? Well, you should go for count of star. So count of is nothing but what will you total tables. So total tables. 
total rays. Okay, so this one is fine. But you want like cloned object like this. Okay, then what happened? So we can comment this line. Okay, so then we can able to offer. So case case when ID equals to clone group ID. Okay, so then we can say then one else zero and okay. So see. So what we are putting, okay. So like this, we can put okay. So this is nothing but what if you okay, if it is so when both are same in the sense, like what we are trying to put one, if it is not, then it will be zero. Okay. So then what happened? We are putting this is what? So we should find sum of sum of so k is one like this. So we get the total okay. So this is 30. 30 is nothing but what say base tables. Okay, base tables. So base tables. Got the point, eh? In a similar fashion, what okay, take the same thing. Copy here. So put so instead of id equal, we should put not equal. So these are what cloned tables. When both are different, so nothing but say cloned tables, cloned objects. So okay, you see 30. How to find the total records? It's the same thing, okay. Count as start to total tables. So put the comma, okay. So total tables, 50 tables. Out of 50 tables, 30 tables are base tables. 20 tables are clone tables. How can you figure out, okay, by using this word, okay, k statement. So we are putting, when both are same, we are putting one. When both are different, we are putting zero. That's why you're getting add, okay, so one plus one plus three, 30. And when both are different, we are putting one. So it is nothing but cloned tables. Hope this is clearer. So first you should understand what is cloning, how to clone, where we can able find out this clone, which will go for when id equal to clone group by both are same, it is nothing but what say base table. When both are different, cloning from different objects. So we should go for case statement, aggregate functions, okay, it's count and some function for the quantum as I know. So like this, like this. So, so always travel with the alignment. So coding standards, okay, alignment follow so that it be good looking. So what you should know information schema dot table storage metrics. So see, we should select the database name. So we should okay, we should put ID equal to it to be like base table, both are different count tables. So how to find total number, we go for count function. Okay, obviously. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.